Hello everyone, Stasis here again. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install the texture pack that I've been using on GTA 4. Um, I'll have a little bit of gameplay of that at the end. If if you come here and you're not familiar with um, the videos that I've done, I'll put a bit of gameplay in there so you guys can see what the texture pack looks like. But yeah, firstly you need to come to this website here which is called iceglass.com forward slash downloads. I'll link that because you can't see it in the uh, video that I'm recording right now. Um, so yeah, that'll be the first link in the description. And then you need to click on this one, Ice Hunter 2.1 latest public release. Um, or uh, unless you have um, the version specified in these ones. But yeah, in this one, um, this is the most recent one. It's um, capable for using with Episodes for Liberty City, which is the one that I usually play on. So you'll click on this and it will take you to this page here. Um, mega.co and nz and then a the specific download link um, you need to agree to this and then download it um, I'm not going to do that because I already have it my internet's going slow enough I do not need to download another 16 megabytes for the purpose of a demonstration but yeah this site's completely um, safe so don't worry about that and then you need to open it um, wherever it's saved to for here I have it on my desktop just for showing it, um, WinRAR is what I use to um, extract stuff. You can also use 7-Zip, Extract2, um, do that, okay. So yeah, then we've got uh, my folder here. And in here, you go into it, into main files, and you need to copy all of these into your main GTA 4 directory, or what um, directory you plan on using. So for me, I have a Steam, a Steam directory. Oop. Steam library, because this is where I have them on a separate hard drive, and then either in GTA 4 in here or in here for episodes of Liberty City. So, yeah, there you go. You want to back up your files if you want to um, take the texture back off because it's a bit of a pain. So, yeah. And that's how you do it, and it should work perfectly fine in game. And I will show you some gameplay at the end of this video, probably playing now when I edit it. And it looks pretty gorgeous. Um, it's very vibrant, so that's a warning. But at the same time, I think it's worth it. Um, you do get a little bit of a glitch with uh, red sky every now and then. Um, that's a glitch that most people have. But you know, it's 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 worth it, I think, at the end of the day. And yeah, there's going to be a new one of this out soon, I think. This is 2.1 and there's going to be 2.5. Hopefully it's fixed in that and we won't have to worry. So yeah, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.